Welcome, welcome back. I need, I need help at C square. In this problem, we're going to look to find the number angles in a rhombus. So what you see here is a rhombus. All sides are equal. And what is cool about a rhombus? The diagonal bisect opposite angle. So angle 1 congruent to angle 2, or the measure of angle 1 equals the measure of angle 2, and also they are congruent to angle 3 and angle Four, right? Well, so what? How am I going to use this for my problem? Hey, first of all, let's take a look to these angles, D, and this angle. I'm not going to call it A. I'm going to call it BAD. It's easier to look. Hey, these two angles are consecutive angles in a parallelogram, right? Don't forget the rhombus is a parallelogram, so they are supplementary. So basically, if I want to find the measure of angles BAD, I'm going to do 180. Right? Supplementary means the sum is 180. Now I'm going to take away 124. So that will be... Let's, uh, let's do the math. 180 minus 124. 56 degree. And now I need to do one more thing. To find the measure of angle 1 or 2, I need to divide this 56 by 2. Why? Because these diagonals bisect, this diagonal line AC bisect the angle BAC. So I'm going to divide by 2 and I get 28. degree. And the others are the same. Measure of angle 2, 28. Yes, measure of angle 3, 28, and measure of angle 4, 28. Yeah, all those angles are congruent because the diagonal AC bisect the opposite angles, in this case AC. If you enjoyed this work, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.